right, I want to make a quick update on the uh, Olds 350 project. Haven't touched it in a while because of that nuisance sitting in the driveway, which that's still coming along. Just haven't made much time to get it done and out of here. But um, before I go ahead and start putting this back together, um, I don't know how many people think about doing this, but something I learned to do over some time. Uh, when you're doing a block like this, you're not actually doing a total like full-on cleanup, like boiling it out or anything. Take uh, your coolant passages, like the water jackets, and you'll see that there's a ton of rust in them. You'll always find rust in there, no matter how little or how much. So what you do is you take a screwdriver like this, a skinny one, get in there and knock as much of that loose shit out of there as you can, break it up, and flip the motor upside down, knock all the shit out, which I've already done all that. But now, since I'm past that point, what I'll always do is I'll take the air, uh, air compressor with an air gun and stick it down all these passages and uh, the water pump goes, all that good shit and blow the shit out of this block and you'll be amazed at what comes out. Do the same thing with the heads. But um, I'm going to go ahead and plug the compressor in and get it ready to go and then I'll pick up the video from there. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. See how much comes out. Ready? Oh. oh yeah. There it comes. Yeah, you Yeah, you don't want that shit in your engine once you put it all back together. While you got it apart, take the opportunity to blow as much of that shit out of there as you can. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for a little bit. It's gonna take a while, it ain't gonna be no two minute job. So I wanna make sure I get everything I can thoroughly, but um, Notice I am changing the cam in this engine, so I left the uh, cam in it for the old cam in it for now. This way I can keep all the dirt and shit out of the uh, cam bearings because I'm not changing them. They seem to be all right. So if you're gonna do something like this, and if you're gonna change the cam like I am, keep the old cam in there. It'll keep all the dirt out of your bearings. And uh, we'll see you shortly. Another thing I'd like to add is, um, when I showed the first video, I had the engine facing upright, but um, you realize that chunks of shit start to blow out of there and they're just fighting gravity. So as I did the passenger side of this block, I just rolled the engine down on its side. This way, you know, everything can fall out as, uh, as the air is shooting through there. And uh, if you're going to do this, I mean, just take your time doing it. It took me about five minutes to get this side done respectively you know I could spend another five minutes and get every little grain of dirt out of there but it's pretty damn clean and um, I'm gonna go over onto this side of the engine now so what I'll do is I'll just rotate it quick hopefully it doesn't flip over because of the yard there you go just like so now I'm gonna go on to the driver's side and, um, Gonna have to get moving on this. I had to drag a 350 tranny out of the garage earlier today because that's a daily driver and reverse started acting up and a couple like a month ago and now there is no reverse. So need to hurry up and get this put back together, made it against the 350 tranny and drop her in. So like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think. One more thing I wanted to add real quick. When you go to clean your engine because you want to go and paint it, you always start your hard-earned money on uh, oven cleaner and all that shit. What you need to do, believe me, this works really nice. Get a couple different wire brushes like this, start with the big one to get the big areas and shit. And then get yourself a little baby one with uh, dual heads on it with the little baby one in the back. And uh, go around and scrape all the loose grease off your motor because if you don't do it this way, you're going to be spending cans and cans of oven cleaner or brake cleaner, whatever you want to use. And, you know, 
if you got a couple wire brushes laying around you can save yourself a heap of money and it's a lot cleaner and uh, what I'm doing is I'm scraping it and then I'm using the air compressor just to blow the shit off granted when I am done and I'm ready to paint it I'll hose it off a brake cleaner real fast but I didn't waste no extra money besides one one and a half cans of brake cleaner so hope you enjoyed that and as always like comment subscribe